Good afternoon everybody. This afternoon I'm doing an enormous pour. It's a huge dining room table. I'll give you the measurements later. I've got nowhere else to do except outside. Unfortunately it's blowing up a bit windy so I'm hoping I don't get too many bits over it. Um, but I've been looking forward to doing this. I've also got the chairs. Um, I'm going to do the seats of the chairs in another pour as well. Um, these are the colours I'm using. Uh, I'm using black with some deep bronze epoxy uh, Lorenz paste in it. I'm using white, gold, yellow pink, mother of pearl epoxy, um, not epoxy, I beg your pardon, mica powder from Lorenz, and also dusty teal mica powder from Lorenz. So we'll see how this goes. We've already leveled up the table. So I'll remove these now and I'll show you what we're going to do next. I'm hoping that we're in screen here and that you can hear me. Um, as I say, it's a huge dining room table. I've just added a little bit of white into five cups I've got here, just to hold them down because the wind's blowing them off over. Um, and so I'm going to use a layering method and um, of all the different paints that I've got here. So next we'll do a little bit of the mica blue. Missed one. So obviously the colours I'm putting in first are the colours that are going to come out last. And I've just forgotten something. I wanted to add some silicate oil, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to be using Helmer's silicon oil. Where are we? Here we are. Just a few drops in each one of these other colours that I haven't poured yet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's the silicon oil. Let's give these a stir first. gold now. A bit of the combination of the bronze and the black together. I made these paints about three hours ago with my pouring medium, which is um, two parts Floetrol, one part PVA glue to one part um, acrylic paint. Okay, well now I'll put some more white in. It wasn't windy when I set this up here. <laughs> is Mother of Pearl. I hope this turns out. Mother of Pearl going in now. Use 
closes it all up. And I'm going to use the, the yellow pink on the top here. Followed by a little bit more white. More gold. Got a tiny little bit of the blue left here, so I'm just going to put a little bit in each one. That's all I've got left. Right, what have I got left here? I've got a little bit more of the, the pinky shade, we'll pop some of that in. stop that now and I'll just get cleaned up a bit. Okay I've got some more white made now to go around the edge of the table and, and another layer of white which I've added silicon to. Um, this one's quite runny and I'm going to pour this on top but first of all I'm just going to get each one of these. You can see the sorry the winds move in the camera and I'm just going to come through with the stick and just just do a cross in them just to mix these up a little bit. One, two. one. It's very hard working on a, a big table like this because I can't lean across it very well so uh, anyway so I hope you can still see everything I'm, and because the sun's shining I'm not sure if this is in in focus here. Where are we? Bring those down a bit more. Is that better? I, I'm hoping. 
Anyway, so I'm going to make these a sandwich pour now and by pouring white on the top. And don't forget, this white that's going on the top has got silicon in it. Whereas the white underneath, it hasn't. Hoping I've got enough paint here for this great big project. Right. There we go. So, I'm not going to worry about these little spillages of bits of paint here because it won't matter. Okay, so what I've got this big container of white paint here. I'm just going to pour some around. Just spread that over. Excuse me if I'm in the camera. I'm don't know if I am or not. Okay, I'm going to stop that because I need to make, make yet some more white. Okay, I've covered, covered the table over now taken six tubes of paint with pouring medium okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these cups that I'm not very good at but it turns out good in the middle and drag them outwards here we go hope you can see There we go. If you can see that, you can see all the cells formating formation already. She's looking really exciting. Look at that. So now I'm going to drag them. Look at it. this cup I used for the white just to come in here and drag out and the other one looks like I should have made seven cups not five we'll see what happens
To show you how inside the cups look. Right, so now, as you can see, the wind's blowing, blowing the camera around. Sorry about that. As I can't physically pick this up and uh, roll it around, I'm just going to swipe a little bit with a stick. my blowtorch get the air bubbles out and bring up more cells
Okay, now I'll just stand back and look at the composition of this um, and decide what I'm going to do next. As I say, if I could lift it, I would, and tilt it. I may try to do that. I'll see if I can. Okay, hang on. Here we go. <laughs> Just letting the weight of the paint roll down the table here. just off the edge and then back just going to continue to do this the way around we'll stretch the cells we'll see allowing the weight of the paint to um, roll down have a bit of cleaning up to do outside my little cottage here today I probably should have put a bit of plastic down but I didn't okay which way will I go now that crunching sound that's because I've actually got it balanced on tiles to try and level this out okay I'm gonna come back when I finish pouring it's too hard to film at the same time that was an enormous job. The sun's going, it's starting to move out, move down now. Um, I had to get someone to help me to lift the table so it can run off. And here are the results. I've then used um, my gas burner to bring out any air bubbles and bring up some more cells in the painting, the tabletop. gold didn't show up very much. I'm hoping that it might come through a bit more as it starts to um, cure and dry. Some beautiful cells here. I think there's a little bit of gold. Um, I think what I really needed, even though I've used, I'm, I'm going to count how many tubes of paint I've used, um, I think I actually needed more to get it over there faster and I didn't start trying to lift the table till too late but the results are looking fabulous I just hope I don't get too much dust on top of it and here's the whole thing that's how large it is as I say it's a dining room table there we are, I'll just hold that over. 